this is so weird because i've not made a youtube video in a year <laughs> and my battery is on 20 percent but um i've never recorded a video and my battery is on 20 percent you get because this is so weird i honestly don't even know why i'm making this youtube video and for this to be the first video that will go up in over a year of me not posting on youtube it is so weird but follow along um it's been a lot going on it's been a lot going on um this is not a story time video um i'm not ready to talk about the a lot going on i will talk about it but now i'm just here to pass a message and i just have this feeling that the right people that that will get this message will get this message so um philippians 4 verse 6 <laughs> i will see if i can just put it somewhere but for now i'm just going to open my bible and if i'm to be very vulnerable if you could remember my last my youtube video where i got gifted this bible um ever since then i've actually not opened this bible i've not opened this bible ever since then yeah i've opened it a few times but like let's just say over a year and a half i've actually not opened this bible um i'm trying to look for philippians for verse 6 and it says it's highlighted because i had studied it earlier when i got the bible um yeah. i try not to cry it's the heading says pray about everything let me just i did i wanted to start in four at four because i know where four starts but I've seen something and I'm going to the Holy Spirit just showed me something and I'm going to share it. It says <clears throat> I need a minute. It says celebrate God all day every day. I mean revel in Him. Make it as clear as you can to all you meet that you're on their side. Working with them and not against them. Help them see that the master is about to arrive. He could show up at any minute. Now, the verse that was actually meant to um, read in the first place. Don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praise shape your worries into prayers. Letting God know your concerns. Before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness, everything coming together for good will come and settle you down. It is wonderful what happens when Christ displaces worries at the center of our lives. I move forward to it. Summing it all up, friends, I would say, you do best by filling your minds and meditating on things noble, true, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise, not things to curse. Put into practice what you learned from me, what you heard and saw and realized. Do that and God who makes everything work together will walk you into his most excellent harmonies. Why am I sharing this? If there's anybody out there who is feeling how I'm feeling right now, you feel like everything is crashing down. You feel like you were so close to touching your future, your dreams, your goals, and it just disappeared. You feel like you have tried and tried and tried and put in effort, put in everything your sweat your blood your mental strength your brain power your energy into everything and suddenly it's not giving you the result that you desire if there's anybody out there watching this video hearing this if anybody sent it to you or whatever and you're in a place whereby you don't know how you got here you don't know how you found yourself in this position 
I want you to know that you're not alone because that's where I am currently and it's not making any sense what other people too are saying is not making any sense currently you're anxious you're scared you're worried you're tired you're exhausted you're everything and nothing is making sense you're praying you're fasting you're seeking god's face you're going to church you're doing every single thing you're meant to be doing as a child of god and as a believer you're devoting time effort strength in every aspect of your life in your relationship in your family in your career everything and nothing seems to be working nothing seems to be there's no re- the result is not resulting let me just say like that and when you look outside of yourself you see other people doing well other people that you're even more qualified than if you were to rate or grade you are looking out there and you're seeing other people achieving dreams and doing things and you're just like god when will it, when will it be my turn god why are you not seeing me why are you not looking at me (laughs) you're not alone you're not alone i promise you're not alone i'm there and i'm going to share with you what god shared with me in the place of prayer a few minutes ago before i made this video you're not alone and he is he is using you he is using you he's using you He's using you. I have other things I want to say. I don't know why I'm saying he's using you so many times. For well, He's using you. He's making a name for himself through you. That when people hear of the testimony that is about to come for you, people would know he is real. People would understand the magnitude of his power. He he is real. People would testify through your own testimony that he is real and he does not forsake his own. You may ask, why are you using me? And why are you not using other people? Because he sees something in you that he doesn't see in other people. He sees strength. He sees bravery. He sees potential. And through this process, he wants you to see all of these attributes in yourself. So don't give up. He sees you. You don't have to bottle up all the emotions. He sees you. He understands. He knows. Do not ever feel like you're not qualified enough or you're not good enough or you're not this enough. He knows. He sees. So do not let this this journey, this phase or this stage you are in your journey Do not give the devil room to feed you lies. He can only feed you lies when he knows that the things that God has said about you and he sees in you and the reasons why he is using you is true. So do not give the devil ammunition by just staying in that place of doubt, worry, fear, anxiety, depression, questions, uncertainties. (laughs) Do not... Do not give him room. Even if you're being vulnerable and you're feeling things, feel them in the presence of God. Example, I was feeling horrible today. This is just a mini short story time. I do not want this video to be too long. I was feeling horrible this morning. And... Today is Sunday. I didn't go to church. I've not been going to church for a while. But that's another thing for a story time. And I remember this song a colleague of mine usually plays in her car. It goes, Until you 
You are satisfied. I'll never stop worshiping. It's by Dunsin. And I decided to download the song and listen. And in that space, I found that in his presence, I can actually be free to express how I felt. And it felt good. And then I remembered verses where God says, Come to me, all those who are burdened and you have heavy load on you and i will give you rest and i felt that and i literally remember that verse and i told him i have this burden i cannot keep carrying it anymore i have this heaviness it is affecting my health i mean i know what i'm saying and you know even if you have things you're feeling let it be felt in the presence of god Let it be felt in the presence of God. So this is just to encourage anybody out there who is in my position right now. A position of you're starting from scratch. You were up here before and now you're crash landing and you hit the floor face down. And you're looking left, right, front, center. You're like, how did it happen? I did everything right. I did everything right. I prayed to God. I gave my tithe. I fasted. I prayed. I put in the work. I put in the effort. I did every single thing that I was meant to do. Well, this is me telling you, for someone who has experienced this too, telling you that your story is not over yet. It is still in the works. This is just something you have to go through because God sees that you are qualified to go through it so that he will make a name for himself through you. So that he would use you to minister to others, to reach out to others, to touch people who in the nearest future would actually also be in the same position as you. Think about it. So yeah. That's all I have to say and share. I can't believe this is how I would come back to YouTube. So yeah. Stay blessed. Do not give up. Show up every day for yourself. And by showing up, show up when God wants you to show up in the place of prayer, in the place of worship. And he loves you. And you should be proud and happy that he sees you as qualified to go through this journey. 